All you need to make fresh pasta at home is some fine flour, some fresh eggs, and some semolina flour. First, take your flour and gently tip it out onto your workspace. Make sure your hands are dry, then using your fingers, make a small well in the flour. Take an egg and gently crack it into the well you've just created. Now the fun starts. Using your fingers, break the yolk so it mixes with the white, then gently work the egg around in a circular motion. What you are actually doing here is slowly picking up the flour around the edges and drawing it into the moist center. When the egg and flour start to turn to a firmer paste, add another egg to the mixture and repeat the process. Don't be impatient and get tempted to stir the flour in faster as this will introduce lumps into your dough that you'll have a hard time working out. As you work your mixture around, it will start to change consistency and the paste will develop into a dough. Keep kneading this dough with the flour until you're satisfied you have a very elastic mix. Be sure your pasta dough is not sticky. If it is, you'll need to add more flour. You will most likely have more flour than you require, so don't feel compelled to use it all. Once you have your dough at the correct texture, use your hands to mold it into a small cob. You will need to rest your dough for at least 30 minutes before you roll it out. Generally, pasta is made with a pasta machine. Take your dough and press it into a small disc. Feed it into the pasta roller, then fold it back onto itself and repeat. Keep rolling the pasta dough out until you have a long, thin sheet of pasta ready for cutting. Now, add your chosen pasta cutter to the pasta machine. Lightly dust your rolled dough with a little semolina and carefully slice your pasta. Once cut, dust your fresh pasta with semolina and put it aside for later. We'll cook our fresh pasta in a fettuccine al fungi later in the show.